G'day, how's it going? Saber SG here and in the EVE Online series number 32 now and I'm flying the Kitey Tormentor. Uh, seems like a lot of people are going with the dual web no point Tormentor so I thought I'd change things up and go with the Kitey Tormentor. Uh, and I forgot to mention in the actual fitting part of the video because I've already pre-recorded that. Uh, you need a, well I need a 2% CPU implant. But yeah, if you're enjoying the content, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Alrighty, let's have a look at the kiting tormentor. Uh, it's pretty good fun. I had a quite a bit of success with it. I guess everyone's expecting a brawling. Tormentor, or I think a lot of people are flying the dual web uh, Tormentor at the moment, but anyway Here we go with the fit uh, I'm using beams and I'm mainly using Imperial Navy infrared, so I hit out to 25k I've got a locust coordinator in there as well just so that I can have that it's kind of the perfect range I think Anyway a micro warp drive a long point uh, cap booster, cap boosting um, without it lasts about a minute. Cap, and you got four, nearly 400 gigajoules and a 400 uh, giga, gigajoule uh, booster in there. So just as you're about to run out, you can pop it. Uh, damage control, nano, heat sink, and overdrive injector. Overdrive injector. A bulkhead. Which I think come in pretty handy. I had some a couple close fights where I think having the extra hull tank has helped. Uh, Locust quarter I mentioned before, and a burst aerator. So uh, yeah, let's get into some fights. Righto. So in this first fight, uh, I am inside the plex, and an incursus comes in, and um, I think he panics a little bit, or he just mainly focuses on trying to uh, get away because he doesn't even put his drone out uh, on me to have some sort of DPS pressure. Um, so I could just keep him at range um, and basically kite him. As long as I manage my cap with the cap boosters, I'm good. Uh, with this particular fit, uh, Atrons, some Cursuses, Merlins, um, Things that don't have drones and have a short range uh, are pretty good fights. A module has run out of charges. So slowly burning him down. Okay, looks like he's starting to or try and orbit now and he might try and pull range. Again, he still he still doesn't even have his drone out. He's just focused on trying to get away. Poor guy. Nearly down. And there we go. Boom. Good fight, mate. Alrighty, so this time I'm up against a Merlin and it's just your typical blaster um, afterburner. You know, brawling sort of Merlin. So as long as I manage everything correctly, uh, it should be a pretty easy kill. Uh, just keep him at range around 20k. Pop the cap booster at the right time, and uh, it's all good. Must have been really bummed out when he came into the plex and saw that I was 20k off, and then he's just going to be kited to death. There we go, he's almost down and boom, good fight. Alrighty, Tormentor versus Tormentor. It's always really interesting when you're fighting the same ship you're flying. Uh, but he does things a little bit differently, he plays it well. Uh, he realises that I'm a Kiti fit, so he, he immediately works at trying to get away. And instead of um, putting his drones on me, uh, he puts his drones on my drones, which is a bit of a bugger. So things are going okay at the moment. So my drones are going down, so I noticed that and I decided, oh well, that's alright, I'll just put some more drones out. 
and then I'm going to kill his drones. <laughs> but as I'm um, swapping over uh, onto his drones, he warps off. I really should have had my um, uh, point overheated. But now, well, good fight. Alrighty, so Tormentor versus Rifter this time. As usual, I'm sitting inside the Plex, 20k off the beacon. And it is a auto cannon Rifter. We, you know, afterburner web scram. So I'm lucky it's not a artillery one because 80 Rifters would be a much more challenging fight. But it's Bevan GT. I know he follows the channel, so g'day, mate. Thank you for the fight. And um, yeah, basically, it's just uh, keep him at range at 20, manage my heat, manage my cap, and it should all be good. A module has run out of charges. He's slowly going down. He's trying to, and this time I keep my um, long point overheated so that. Um, be, uh, while he's trying to slingshot me, if he tries to slingshot me, at least I can keep him within point range, unlike before. Nearly got him. He's drifted out to 23k. He's coming back in. And I've got to think about turning that heat off now. There we go. Nearly down, so I hit approach, try and close that range, and then uh, boom. Good fight, Bevan. Alrighty, Tormentor versus Kestrel, and it is Lestalia who follows the channel, I think, and uh, I've had a lot of fights with him, so it should be a good one. Anyway, he is in a rocket dual web afterburner Kestrel. So he plays it well. He takes out my drones and uh, he swaps ammo over to Javelin so that he can uh, start applying damage to me. Some more drones out would be helpful. There we go. Now his javelin's hitting me and it's hitting hard. I really do not have much tank on this at all. I think 3k was the top effective health points. So uh, yeah, it's going to be close because I really want to kill him. And he really wants to kill me. <laughs> Here we go, boom. Good fight, Lestalia. Okay, so in this fight I'm up against uh, an Incursus again, uh, but this time it's a MWD Blaster Cursus, which you don't really see many of them around low sec. And um, yeah, got to watch watch out because if he catches me with his blasters and uh, gets a nice tight orbit around me, uh, yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty much going to be dead. So I am noticing his speed. And uh, it looks like he's overheading, he's going 3, 8, 3, 9, 4k, so I overhead as well to try and keep him at range. And he's getting really, really close. But I guess he didn't have his scram overheated or something, so he, he doesn't catch me. Which is uh, lucky. Now, he also doesn't have his drone on me at all. So, no pressure from um, damage from the drone. Oh, here we go. He's got a little bit of damage on me. Back out to 22k again. It's like he's got AC drones. Yeah, he goes down. Good fight. Okay, so in this one I'm up against a Punisher 
and uh, I'm a bit late in hitting the record button sorry about that but you didn't really uh, you didn't miss out on much because um, even though he's got a micro warp drive he punishes are really slow so it was just easy to kite him and um, slowly whittle him down So as long as I don't make any mistakes, as in uh, forgetting about my cat boosters or burning out my guns, um, there's no real way he can really do much about it. In fact, it looks like he jumps out. <laughs> he gets so bored he jumps out of his punisher and his pod and warps away. Interesting. Good fight. So there you have it. That is the Kaiti Tormentor. Um, surprisingly quite effective. I don't think many people um, around Faction Warfare low sec anyway are expecting it. They're expecting to be scram carded or the dual web sort of uh, no point uh, variant that seems to be popular at the moment. But uh, yeah, pretty good fun and um, if you enjoyed the uh, video, please like, comment and subscribe. It's really, really greatly appreciated. And uh, yibbity yibbity, that's all folks. And I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.